Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. And let's in this tutorial learn a little bit more how to um, unfold your UMI map and apply textures. And also we'll learn some practicing more on the creating models. And let's create the mushrooms. So for your scenery, if you want to import into the test studio, let's create cylinder. Select the primitive, so maybe about this tall. Let's select on top and bottom, so we close it. And set 12 points and 12 sections. Press enter twice. Next, let's go to vertex modeling and click on a smooth line once. Let's meld them together. And here our base for our mushroom. So we'll go to select faces now. And we'll just select maybe around right here. If you want, you can create a little bit bigger, but we'll see. Next, we'll go on a, on a middle point. We'll select and increasing size. Let's put a little bit down. Here you go. This is our will be basic mushroom. Actually, I want to use one, so hold down Control, click on the line and move it. So we'll just copy and we'll work with this for now. So we'll go to Utilities tab. We'll go select the topper. Just squeeze a little bit on top. Next. Let's go, well, let's work a little bit on the root as well till I remember. So, on the same select right here on the bottom. Okay, a little bit increase. Click right here. There you go. And just make a little bit flatter bottom. Okay, so we'll go back to use it bender. Bend the mushroom a little bit and let's twist it as well. So here is our mushroom we created. Let's turn this way so we can preview a little bit easier. Okay, let's take our other one, make it smaller. Okay, also go to topper. We'll make it a little bit younger mushroom. Click right here, just bend a little, little bit. And let's move closer to another, maybe place somewhere right here. If you want it also, you can apply additional um, smoothness. But I just want to leave it like this for now. So it will be a little bit faster to work. Okay, so we select this mushroom. Let's go to UV in paint. And let's click on unfold. Next, what I want to do, I want to um, select some points around so we can unfold it. Click L right here. Add one seam there. Let's click here. L, add a seam right here. Let's click maybe right here, L, and add seam right here. So we have it will be top, this, and root. We can add to the root if you want it line, but I think this way it will work just fine. And when you think you're done, let's click on the unfold on currently. So here we have it, our um, seams, and this will be our internal. This is our external, this is our bottom, and this is our sides. So I don't really worry too much about side. We could actually split even more. Just add maybe lines right in the middle right here, or we can split on a half, but I think for this tutorial that will be just fine. So let's bring this up here. Okay, next I will click validate. And let's, you know what, a little bit resize our object. So we'll select one, one right here, placed one right. Okay, there's a other one. Let's resize it maybe. 
There you go. There's one more and right here as well. I'll just put one in the middle right here. Okay. Now let's save it this map. So we'll click on a camera to save. We'll go to TFF format. I like it because it's uncompressed. So we won't have any distortions. And now we're ready to go to Photoshop to modify our image. Okay, so here we have it opening in Photoshop. And let's create one more layer. You don't need to be precise, just you have it a little bit out. So it's almost a little bit bigger. Okay. Next, let's create one layer. Okay, we actually already created. Let's do filter, render, and we'll go to the clouds. Let's make a little bit uh, render different clouds. Maybe one more time. So we'll have it sharper. Okay. Let's go filter, blur, radial blur. We take on a zoom. Go past. Okay. So we'll add a little bit lines to this. Let's create one more layer. And we'll set to the um, radial paint. Probably brown around colors. Maybe a little bit more like this. Okay, let's go overlay. So we'll give it press E. Put together, let's go to the dark mode tool and make a little bit by hand. Just add extra. So here is a kind of top of the mushroom. Okay. We can also unselect it and just, you know, take it, blur to a little bit and just make edges a little bit blurry. Okay. This is our inside, so we'll do probably a bit lighter colors. Can go again, go around. Oops, I don't know, very good job on going around. You can be a little bit more precision to paying. I'm just doing very rough and fast. So we'll do this way. Let's change on a lighter color. Okay. Like this. Take our paint again. Let me do like this one. And you know what? Let's just leave it like. This okay, right side with a little bit blur. Okay, this one it will be our bottom. If you want, we can change so we can just go around very and same, just add color. Okay, like this, create new. Just we won't worry too much about this. And this is our steam and we can spend more time if we're separating. This is will be layers. All what I want to do right now, it's the same, just paint. Same color, go to darker. And just make kind of adjusting colors. Okay, next things, we'll go right here, we'll add one more layer. And I just want to select middle layer paint bucket paint so even you don't see it but when we start to import this is will be just mapped right let's go back and let's go save it we'll save as tff this file okay so we're going and we'll save this as a jpeg image let's go now back to our hexagon so we'll go switch to main view we'll select this mushroom Let's go open material editor. So we'll assign just material. Mushroom. And as a texture, let's load it. 
texture image and we of course we selected our mushroom and what's happening sometimes if it doesn't map properly just click flip vertically it's most what happened okay and here we have it our texture we just created assigned to the mushroom okay of course if you want it you can increase resolution before and we'll just can create one for this as well in the same way and let's up just create it and save it sometimes you may find this small right here problems and this happen when we need to pay a little bit more accuracy when we're going around and here was very short tutorial for you to see how you can create model of mushrooms and assign texture to this model again thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please come visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com